Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today I am back doing a Five Ways Wednesday for you guys. This one has been a kind of requested video. I get a lot of people who ask me about this bag. Um, this is the Itsy Ritzy Tribe Tote. It is the biggest bag made by Itsy Ritzy. And I've noticed that I have a lot of customers who are very interested in this bag, but they don't really know much about it and they just want to see a little bit more about the inside and how it packs up. So today I thought I'd answer some of your questions and show you five different ways to pack this bag right here. I would say this one is almost like a, a hybrid between the Be Prepared and the Be Classy from Jujubee. It's got the size of the Be Prepared with kind of the overall structure that's very similar to the Be Classy. So if you love either of those two bags from Jujubee, I think you'll be a big fan of this one. So why don't I go ahead and get started and show you five different ways to pack this gorgeous bag up. Now, I like to leave this front zipper pocket empty just because this is where I tend to toss receipts and things like that. You can fit just about your whole hand down into there, so it's a pretty deep pocket, great for tossing receipts or anything that ends up in your hand while you're out. I love the mommy pocket of this bag, but I don't tend to pack it up a lot just because I, I tend to prefer to pack up this part of the bag and when this is packed full you start running out of space here. So I have this packed pretty minimally. Um, here in one of the front mesh pockets I just have some Kleenex. In the other mesh pocket I have a little headband for my daughter. Here in the front zip pocket I do keep my sunglasses. And then in this larger pocket here is where I like to keep my wallet that I keep in a small Jujube set piece. And I also like to keep my phone in there as well, but I'm using that to record right now, um, so that's why that's not showing. This bag does have two insulated bottle pockets, one on either side. So on this side over here, I am keeping a Replay sippy cup for my son. Like I mentioned in my last video, we just placed our opening order with Replay, so we will be carrying these at thesensiblemama.com. I should be getting my first order in really soon, and we have lots of colors to choose from. And then over here on the other side, I just have my nine ounce swell bottle with water for myself. Like all of the Itsy Ritzy bags, this one does come with attached stroller clips on either side, so I do just have those attached to the D-ring on the side of the bag. And of course, this bag, if you don't already know, does come with leather tote straps as well as an included messenger strap, which is right here, also attached to the D-rings. And as you can see, it's got a really nice little shoulder pad here to keep it comfortable, because this bag can get a little heavy if you pack it up with lots of stuff. So this is a really, really great thing to have. Now, before I open up the inside, I do want to show you one thing on the back of this bag. Okay, back here is where you have your change pad. It's a nice, big, thick change pad, which I really, really love. And you also have three bottle pockets back here. Now, I don't use these for bottles just because I tend to find that when this is up against my hip when I'm carrying it um, with the messenger strap or when it's against my side when I'm using the tote handles, bottles just tend to kind of bother me back here. But you do have all of this space, whether you want to put some set pieces or bottles or papers or anything, it's a really, really nice spot just to store other things that you want to grab quickly. But as for this video, I'm probably not going to show you this packed up with anything just because I, I don't personally use it. Getting on to the inside of the bag, I'm going to show you the first way that I'm packing this bag. And this is um, <laughs> for an overpacker. So I tried to imagine how I would pack this up if I were someone who tends to overpack. And I really, really crammed this full. So I don't think that I would ordinarily pack this bag as full as it is packed, but I thought you might like to see, in case you're an overpacker, just how much can be fit inside of this bag. Here is a top view of everything that's in here. As you can see, it's really, really, really full. So I'm going to put it back up on its base and then I'm going to show you everything that I have in here one at a time. Something that I do really like about this bag is that it folds over nicely the way a Jujube Super B would. So when you really need to get down in there and see everything in the bag, this just works really, really well. So right here in the front, um, kind of inside of a silk slip pocket, I have my Lilla Baby ring sling, which I have been using with my newborn. And like I said, that was in this front slip pocket here. In the slip pocket next to that, I have my Itsy Ritzy nursing scarf. And that's all I had in the slip pockets over here. Now in the kind of main compartment on this side, the bag is divided into two different sections by this zipper pocket here. So in the main compartment of this back side, I just have a Jujube large be organized set piece in the Donatella sweet shop print and this is packed with all of our diapering needs. There are three mesh pockets across the back and in one of these I have a Jujube medium set piece 
And in here, I just have some eating needs for my son. I don't pack much for him anymore now that he's older for restaurant needs, but I do have his slip resistant placemat as well as some Inna Baby silverware, which I always like to keep with me. Now, I am breastfeeding my daughter, but occasionally I do like to pump and feed her out of a bottle. So in here, I just have two Komotomo bottles. These are also in the side little slip pockets. And those fit really well down in there. Now moving on to the front side that's on the other side of this divider. Down in the main kind of section, I have a Logan and Lenora clutch. Let's see, it goes this way. Um, and in here, I have my pump as well as some storage bags. I've been using the Lanzano manual hand pump and I really, really love it. And this fits really great down in that main compartment of the tote. Next in this back slip pocket, I have a large Jujube set piece and this has got a change of clothes for my son. Next in one of the mesh pockets um, on the inside of that little bag, I've got uh, a medium set piece packed with a change of clothes for my daughter. And the last thing that I have in here is my Inna Baby snack tower, which is packed with snacks for my toddler. Now, I have not used every single compartment that is inside of this bag, and I have not used this middle zip pocket at all. That's mostly because I just had every other part of the bag packed up so full that there was just no way to fit anything in there. But now, I'm gonna show you maybe a more realistic way of packing this bag. That was packed so full that it might be kind of hard to get into the things that you have in the bag, so let's pack it up with a more minimalistic style that better captures the internal organization of the bag. All right, so now that I've shown you the sort of front of the bag to give you an idea of what the whole bag looks like, I'm gonna shoot the rest of these from a top up angle just so you can really see into the bag and get a better idea of how it packs up. So like I said, this time I've packed this up more in a minimal way. This is more of the way that I would be packing this to be going out right now with my newborn and my toddler. We're not going out for long extended periods of time, so that means there's less that I need. So as you can see, when you don't overpack this, when you pack it up just a little bit more minimally, um, the overall structure of the bag is a little bit better and it's easier to get in and out and get the things that you need out of the bag. What I've decided to do this time is pack this up using this barrier here to separate my toddler's things from my baby's things, so that anytime I need to get something for one of them, I know exactly which side to go to. So this over here is my toddler's side. Um, instead of using like a diapering quick or a diapering be organized piece, I've used these um, little pouches that come inside of the bag. So I'm really utilizing the internal structure instead of having to use pouches. So in this first slip pocket here, I have a cloth diaper for my son. This is a Grovia cloth diaper. And I also have a disposable just in case we end up needing it. In the second slip pocket, I have a Caribou Bloom wet bag as well as my wipe pouch with wipes inside of it. I have not used any of the center sort of like big open space in here just because I tend to prefer for everything to be in a slip pocket anyway. So I haven't used this space. I just have everything either in the slip pockets or in the mesh that's along this side. So once again, I have that large jujube set piece that I showed you before that has a change of clothes for my son in it. Then in these two smaller mesh pockets, I just have a teether that my son really loves. This is by Lulu Lollipop, which is a brand that we just just brought to the Sensible Mama and I, he loves this thing and I think it's very elegant. So I do enjoy carrying that in my diaper bag. And in the other mesh pocket, I have his little phone that he loves and it's gonna go off because I don't know how to turn this thing off. Um, maybe it won't, but he loves this thing. He loves pretending like he's on a phone. So it goes right down there in that little mesh pocket and I can grab it for him when he wants it. Now on the other side of the bag, I have everything that I need for my daughter. I have her newborn cloth diapers over here in the side mesh. Look at how tiny, oh my gosh. In one of the other little mesh pockets over here on the side, I just have some desitin and some polysporin. And then I did not have anything in this third mesh pocket all the way over here, just cause I was, I was out of things. Um, down in just the main kind of open pocket, I do have my other itsy ritzy nursing scarf, just cause I'm obsessed with these things. This is their newest print. It's pink with little black bows over it and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the one that I carry when I'm having more of a fun kind of day and I want a fun print. And then in this last um, little slip pocket over here, I have that medium jujube set piece packed with a change of clothes for my daughter. Now, here's the coolest thing about the way that I have this packed is that when I don't overpack these two sections and it leaves me a little bit of extra space, 
I'm actually able to fit my entire 18 month Erin Condren planner here in the middle zipper pocket and that to me is amazing. I have the hardest time getting my planner inside of my diaper bags and I like having it with me all the time. So I am super, super excited about that. All right, way number three is for you baby wearing mamas. I really wanted to push the bounds of this bag and see what I could actually fit inside of here when it comes to baby wearing. So one of the things that I plan on doing with my two babies is, oh, well, my toddler and my baby is tandem baby wearing and I've really been experimenting with how I wanna go about doing that. So I did put two different baby wearing essentials in here um, to show you that they really do fit and it's fantastic. So um, the first thing that I have, now a caveat is that you absolutely cannot fit as much stuff in here when you have two baby carriers um, as you could when you have zero baby carriers. So I've really packed this up very, very minimally. Think more like if you're going for a walk or a hike or something like that and you plan on baby wearing, but you also need some diapering gear. So I do have a Logan and Lenora clutch in here, and this just has diapering needs for both my son and my daughter. Everything is packed up really neatly inside of there. I was still able to fit a little snack container for my son, just because sometimes he gets a little bit irritated with me when I'm trying to get him on, so I like to give him a snack while I'm getting him in his carrier. Now, the other two things that I have in here are directly related to baby wearing. So the first thing that I have is a size four woven wrap from Lenny Lamb. This is what I will be wearing in a front carry with my daughter. And then, this is gonna shock you guys, I have a Tula um, free to grow in here as well. So this is the carrier that you can use all the way from newborn to toddlerhood and this fits perfectly well down in the other side of this bag. Now I do know that you can fit a, an Anuna from Soul Slings which is also the um, infant to toddler carrier and I am able to get my Lilla baby in here as well. This just happens to be the one that I picked up today so you can absolutely fit a full buckle carrier as well as a woven wrap inside of this bag and still get some diapering stuff in there, which I think is amazing. All right, the last two ways that I'm gonna show you how to pack this bag up are more for mommy needs instead of baby needs. So if you're not at that stage in your life yet, you can go ahead and stop the video now because the rest of this is not about diaper bag packing. But I think you might be interested in seeing how you can use this particular bag after the diaper bag years are over because these are nice bags. You might wanna keep them and use them when you're not carrying diapers around because that stage does not last forever. So this is packed as a work bag. Now this is just the way that I like to pack this up so don't think you have to replicate this but I do wanna show how much stuff you can actually fit in here if you're taking a work day either at the office or at Starbucks or something. You can just pack a ton of stuff in here. The first thing that I have is my MacBook Air sitting right in the uh, main compartment. In one of the slip pockets, I have a book that my husband and I are reading together. For when I need a sanity break to just stop from my work and regroup, I can work on reading this. In the main pocket, I once again have my Erin Condren Life Planner. I usually carry just a small set piece as my wallet, but when I'm going out to work, I like to carry a B Spendy with me from Jujubee just because I like to put my business cards in here. And in case I happen to run into someone who I might wanna work with in the future, I like to be able to put their business cards in there as well. So I had this sitting in front of, um, in one of these little mesh pockets back here. In one of the smaller mesh pockets, I have my Bluetooth earbuds so that I can listen to music while I work. And <laughs> Next to that, I have a great big old bottle of Excedrin migraine because migraines happen. The other side of the bag is pretty much 100% devoted to charging cables because when you're going to a place like Starbucks, there's just never enough outlets, so you always wanna make sure that you have your own kind of power station with you. So in one of the mesh pockets, I do have just a mouse so that I don't have to use the trackpad on my laptop. I have a portable charger for my cell phone, an external hard drive so that I don't lose any of my work, and lastly, I have the charger to my computer along with the entire huge extension cable because like I said, there's never enough cords at Starbucks. You can never get close enough to one, so I like to always have a big long extension cord just in case I need it. All right, and the last way that I have this packed up is as a camera bag. Now, obviously, I have my camera attached to a tripod up here, so I don't have my camera in here, but usually what I would do is have my camera inside of either a Jujubee Be Quick or a Logan and Lenora pouch like this. So I've just tucked this down in here to show you that this will fit. I have a Panasonic 
Lumix G7 and it fits perfectly well inside this or a Be Quick and you can get it down inside of the tote. In one of these far mesh pockets, I have two selfie sticks down in another mesh pocket and I'm sorry you can't see this so well. It's just this bag does kind of collapse in on itself as you empty it out, which is one of the things that I don't like about it. Overall, I love the bag, but that collapsibility of it sometimes can be hard to deal with. Um, down in one of the mesh pockets, I do have my battery charger with a fully charged battery and another spare. In the middle zipper pocket, I have just this little notebook that I got from Michaels that I have been using for planning videos and blogs and things, so I like to have that with me. And then over here in the other side, I have um, a Jujube medium set piece, this time packed with powder and uh, eyeliner and lip gloss and things like that so that I can do touch-ups if I need to. In these mesh pockets all the way over here on the side, I have three spare lenses. I've really been enjoying kind of playing around with different lenses and what they do to my photography and videography, so I like to have different options with me. And lastly, I have a tripod for my camera, just a little gorilla pod one that I can use to set up my camera somewhere if I don't have my big tripod with me, which is up there. All right, you guys, so that is the Itsy Ritzy Tribe Tote. I have been loving this bag now that I have two little ones. I think it makes a great bag for babies or for yourself. In fact, I kind of wish I'd packed this up as like a weekender bag because I do think this would be really great for like an overnight trip with the hubby somewhere, but I didn't get to that today, so maybe next time. If you have any questions about this bag, feel free to leave them down in the uh, comment section below and I'll make sure to answer them. If you like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up down below. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, make sure that you click this button right here to subscribe. Thanks so much guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.